Well, I hope y'all are enjoying watching uh, us work out on our video. And quickly, we wanted to share three steps to starting a fitness program. And this is grace-based success because we're looking for God to give us favor and to help us with our workout and with our exercise. And the three steps to a grace-based faith program is faith, speech, and action. And um, we're going to start with our base scriptures starting with 1 Timothy 4 and 8. The King James Version, it reads, For bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. So when we speak of bodily exercise profiting little, we was discussing earlier about going into a bakery and seeing all the different pastries with the cakes. And all the pretty colors, yeah. pretty toppings with the sprinkles. And you look on the outside and they look gorgeous. Right. But it's what's on the inside. Right. It's what counts. The quality of the cake, right? Right. So, the moisture content. Mm-hmm. Because we look at people that work out and there's some... They just ripped up. They got a six-pack, eight-pack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we don't know what's really going on on the inside. We don't know what they're putting on the inside. Because, you know, one scripture says what goes into a man. Right. You know? So, um, so with that in mind, the substance of what's in a man is two layers before you ever get to the body. Right. So if we go on to Matthew 6, mm -hmm. 25 through 26. And we'll come back to, excuse me, um, but godliness is profitable unto all things. Mm -hmm. right. We'll come back to Timothy. Right. Matthew 6, 25 said, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than raiment. So, and this is really a cool scripture mm -hmm. to think about when you think about um, changing some habits and doing some things differently when it comes to your eating. Right. Because what's the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning when you're on a diet or when you're trying to uh, eat differently? It's what I'm going to eat. Mm -hmm. So he's telling us to take no thought. Take no thought. To what you're going to eat. Why? Because life is more than meat. Life is more than meat. So now let's go it's back. More than to food. Right, more than food. <laughs> and the body is more than clothes. Right. So it's just like putting and priority. If you're putting bigger clothes on an unhealthy body and not addressing the body, that's an issue, right? But you know how we always do? And we would say, I'm going to buy that when I lose some weight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we didn't want to, you don't, you don't want to put all these nice clothes on a body that wasn't in shape that's not in shape but don't make it look good you know what right. i mean mm -hmm. so so let's go back up to timothy and he said having promise but godliness is profitable unto all things in other words god likeness uh is profitable unto all things having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come so the god being godlike in our process which is faith speech and actions mm -hmm. we operate like God we operate like God so we have the faith of God what his word says about our life the promises in our covenant and then we speak the word mm -hmm. like God did in Genesis God said God saw God called calling it forth and then we act mm -hmm. 
Right. Right, because everything starts with the word. And before we even started working out, of honey, going to the track, the first thing we did was start confessing. Because that was the one scripture that God gave you, Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Mm -hmm. And they shall walk and not faint. So that's the promise that we were standing on, that you would run and not be weary, and you shall walk and not faint. So that's the first thing we, we started doing. Not only did we change some habits as far as some things that we eat, but we start confessing the word because the power is in the word. So we start confessing that every day. We're going to run and not be weary. We're going to walk and not faint. Every day you're going to confess that I'm going to run and I'm not going to be weary and I'm going to walk and I'm, and I'm not going to faint. And especially at our ages when we're starting anything new, you know, they always say to consult your physician before you start anything new. But you definitely want to consult God before you start anything new. And another scripture that we stand on is Psalms 103 and 5. Right. It says, He satisfies our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. But honey, you want to read that in the Amp C? Yeah, in the Amp C it says, Who satisfies your mouth your with your necessities and desires at your personal age and situation with good so that your youth renewed is like the eagles strong overcoming strong overcoming and so on so that's very very important it's like when you consult your physician or your doctor they telling you based on your age based on your numbers based on your physical health this is where you can start but i love it that jesus is so even much more detailed he said based on your necessity and desire at your personal age and situation. So when we go start seeking the Lord about what we can do for health and to maintain our health and vitality as we age, he's going to do that based on our desire and necessity at our personal ages and situations because everybody's different. Everybody's different. You might be starting out and you dealing with blood, high blood pressure and this other person starting out dealing with insulin resistance or pre-pre-diabetic or it might be diabetic right and so whatever god gives you from a taste standpoint or that he satisfies your mouth with it's in line with what's going to also renew your renew your body back to youth which right. is beyond and before uh sickness and disease and anything like that so we're talking about grabbing health which is the inside right. versus just versus bodily, bodily exercise on the right. outside so remember life meat body rain right so it's not so much about the weight loss i think that should come think about that secondly right because for so long that's the church just, has been little in, in perspective eh? right mm -hmm. but for so long the church has been on defense when it comes to uh health they look at healing so it's time for the church to get a get in front and be on the offense and think health Think of what we're putting into our body. Because the Bible doesn't know what goes into a man that defiles the man. Mm -hmm. And it's like you want to defile your body, but yet believe God for healing. Mm -hmm. And you can't, some things that you just cannot keep doing. And then if you're going against God and what God is telling you to do. Right. Because he said, what he said about whoever, he said, I'll destroy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who, whoever destroyed this temple. Yeah. Any man defile this temple? Defile this temple. Him would God. Him would God destroy. And then he also talks about putting a knife to your neck mm -hmm. if you are glutton. If you're given the appetite, yeah. Right. So first thing we need to do is seek the Lord on what to do. Mm -hmm. But these three steps, our faith first, we're going to confess your scriptures about your your plan. You're going to seek the Lord about your plan based on your desire, age, and personal situation. And you're going to confess it on a daily basis. And then, whatever actions he gives you to do. Right. He may, your appetite may even change. A lot of times God do it, tell us things, and we just kind of ignore. He might say, you know, you need to stop eating too much sugar. You might stop, you know, your mind, yeah, it comes to your mind. Yeah, processed carbs, limiting the amount of processed yeah. carbs. Yeah, and we just need to start doing what he's trying to lead us to do and be proactive towards our health and not reactive yeah. after the fact. 
because you told me limit the processed carbs, but add fiber to your diet. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like we're doing that pizza, we do thin crust pizza. Add more vegetables to add it. Add more vegetables yeah. to it. So just keep all these things in mind, and remember you have a grace-based success, which means God's favor, and you have God's ability that's going to help you do the things that you could not do. And by his stripes, we are healed. So let's stay with the process of being in health and not worry about weight loss at this time. So remember that you are happy, happy healthy, healthy wealthy, wealthy, fit, and forgiven. God bless. We did a video in the past on SWORD, and here's an update. Um, I find that doing the SWORD therapy is a great warm-up. Uh, to my knees and joints uh, for other workouts, whether it's leg day or going jogging. Uh, so it's pretty good for a warm-up. I feel my joints and being able to uh, trust my knee uh, to go into deeper squats and deep knee bends and lunges and different things that they're uh, it's a part of their therapy. So overall, it's, it's pretty good. The uh, little old uh, monitors that you wear uh, read pretty good. And so it knows when you lean in the wrong way. And it's pretty accurate. So I definitely recommend it. It's, it's great. So after we leave uh, sword therapy, we go to the track. Do I run? And then on the way back, we stop by right here at the park. And I get me some pull-ups in. And, uh, well, I'm up to about six pull-ups now. Uh, you see me yanking them out over there. And then from this, I'll go and do me about a two and a half uh, mile walk around the neighborhood. back up here and do my workout. I alternate between uh, back and legs and chest tries and buys. So today was chest tries and buys. So after we got through the run, the walk, we came back up did the chest tries and buys. What an awesome day. Yeah, to Rose Point, we found out in doing the therapy that I initially got started because of my knee, but your knee is like the weak link between your hip, lower back, and even your, your ankle, and you could be having problems with your foot, and so um, I don't know really where, where I was hurting. I just started initially feeling the pain in my knee. Um, but I just stopped doing things like squats and bending, period, a whole lot, you know, walking upstairs and stuff like that. And so when I would work out and I would do uh, exercises like uh, planks and things like that, I, my lower back and my left side, of my hip would be hurting. And so what I found out was that that glute muscle, as a result, on that side was real weak and uh and by not bending so much, my if I lunge on that side, my toe wouldn't bend enough to, for me to be even go down. And, and so it's like, if you don't use it, you lose it. So then going into the therapy, I found out that I had to start back working, uh, letting my body know, hey, I, I want to use this side again. So send some resources over here so we can get better to do what we need to do. And so... Uh, I'm eight weeks into the program. It's, uh, I think it's like a 12-week program. But I'm, uh, I'm doing great. We, uh, we bend in like we're supposed to, and joints is loosening up, and, and uh, we're able to stretch and understand the, the power of stretching certain things, even the toe. Uh, you know how you stretch that 
quad out and I would grab my ankle and bring it up, but now I'm grabbing the whole foot and letting it uh, come up so you can flex that toe. But even lunging to the side right here to uh, trusting that knee, you know, it's, 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 it's just awesome. And we out now, we uh, getting ourselves up on our run. Uh, I'm, I, I like to use this uh, as a prerequisite to my run. So after this, I'll be going to the track. So Rose getting her run now. And then when uh, I get through with my therapy, we'll go down to the track and I'll get mine out there. So to a point, it won't be long. We'll be running out there together. So I told her, get us some search made 30-30. Wow, I can't believe I'm really going at this running on the treadmill. And this really happened by, I guess I could say, a surprise. Because I wasn't intending on coming upstairs and really trying to run on the treadmill. I was coming upstairs just to do my normal quick 30-minute walk. And I was going back downstairs to do other things. Um, But I kind of thought about... You know, just hopefully someday I'll be back out on the track running like I talked about uh, my goal of running the mile uh, per my 60th birthday. So I was surprised when I kind of walked a little bit and warmed up. And then I ran the, the next 25 minutes. It was really surprising to me. But like I said, since the last 20, I'm doing a 21 day, um, dedication as far as not eating meat just focusing more in on uh vegetables and i am doing a green shake uh that's mostly broccoli cauliflower and cabbage um and seem like it's really giving me a lot of energy and i really appreciate that because i never would have thought i could have even the light jog for 25 or 30 minutes on the treadmill so I'm really looking forward to every day now coming upstairs and uh, getting my run on the jog, jog a little bit on the treadmill and then eventually taking it out to the track. And hopefully me and Honey will be running side by side again like we were in our 30s. That would definitely be a miracle and uh, youth renewed like the Bible says. <laughs> and uh, so that would be awesome. So just a little bit more uh, of this video, just us upstairs here at the house, just working out. And it's just part of the life of uh, being 50 and beyond. If you want to keep your joints moving and uh, you want to feel good, you got to move a little bit. You know what they say, a body in motion, stay in motion. And I think that's what my honeys may talk about a little bit more at some point. Because he just felt like a lot of his muscles he wasn't using. And so um, they just wasn't functioning. So now with the sword therapy, it's allowing him to uh, move those muscles and joints. And and now they are uh, coming back for use. And they've been easier, you know, to bend and to move. So just uh, continue on and y'all can go ahead and watch and join us. You know, you can start walking in place or... Or whatever while we're doing our workout. Just walking around is in your home would be great. Okay. <laughs>